Welcome back to Sailing Joy. Last time, we stopped in Marina Cascais to do our 50 hour engine maintenance before leaving towards Lagos. It's a beautiful morning here in Cascais and we're gonna be leaving today to go to Cines, a little bit down south uh, here in Portugal. Our objective is uh, for the next week, uh, we start to travel towards Gibraltar. And in our way to Algarve, we decided to stop from Cascais in a little town called Cines just to spend the night and, uh, and cut over uh, the trip so we don't have to do an overnight. Uh, so we spent the night here in Cines. Um, we just anchored and we were waking up here at 5 o'clock in the morning. So we have like a long day sail today to get to um, to close to Lagos. I think we're going to get to uh, uh, to the point of Sagres, which is about 12 hours from here. So we're leaving very early because if uh, the winds are favorable, if uh, the forecast gets it right, we're even able to sail to uh, Lagos, which is a little bit farther, which is about 15 hours. So let's see how, how it goes. It's still night, so um, even uh, for Patricia, she started to get a little bit used of how it is uh, to sail at night. She does not want to do like overnight or anything, but uh, you know, it's five o'clock, so like in an hour and a half, it's gonna be day. So it's just gonna be like one hour at night. And so she get the feeling, I think that'd be a, a good idea. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. We're gonna be raising anchor and uh, leaving uh, here Cines towards Lagos. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are What makes the sun go to sleep every night And what's it dreaming of? I wonder How come the sky All right, now that the sails is up uh, we're gonna go have some breakfast. Just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. We spent the night here at uh, at Sagres. This bay is beautiful, and uh, but there was a lot of wind last night. Uh, we did sleep well. Our mast is making some banging noise uh, inside. I don't know where it is. I think it's uh, electric cables. Uh, so we have reached out to our dealer to see what we can do because I believe this is going to be under warranty. Uh, electric cables and also. It's making a lot of noise whenever it's uh, over uh, eight knots. And I think that's this thing right here. Uh, as you can see, whenever you bang like that, it makes a lot of noise. So I don't know if it's the tension on the stays uh, or what's going on. So we're gonna have a rigger, have a look at it. But the thing is, it's, uh, it's August in Europe and everybody goes on vacation. So everybody that we have called the riggers, they're on vacation, they're gonna come back only in September. 
So we're gonna have to have our earplugs out because it's almost unbearable the noise that makes inside of the cabin. Uh, we have slept several nights already over there in the galley, uh, right here, because it was like just a way too noise, noisy, you know, the noise coming from those uh, stays. So uh, today we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to Lagos, and uh, we've heard that it's beautiful over there. There's an anchorage right in front of the marina at the beach. We're gonna go there first, and then we're gonna go to the marina. So we're excited about another uh, day of sailing. I think it's gonna be a beautiful one, not very long, maybe four or five hours, and we're gonna be there. Hi guys, in my opinion, I think that's how sales should be every day. <laughs> and if you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, oh, hold on, there's a buoy over there. I gotta give some degrees here. Hold on just a second so I can uh, change it. Hey, check out the buoy over there. I think we're gonna, is that the buoy? No, it's not. <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> Look. Yeah, not a buoy at all. So, perfect day to be out here sailing. We have our Janneker up, which is kind of our cold zero. Look at that. It's not perfect in terms of the angle, but it's really moving us forward about seven uh, knots, which is pretty good. And it's going towards our direction, just like leaving, like the angle is not perfect, but uh, pretty good. Look, this is where we're going. We're leaving this bay right here, and uh, we are gonna go to Lagos. And we're gonna spend a few days over there in Lagos. Patricia is out there, enjoying the day, relax sailing. And uh, so in three, four hours, we're gonna be over there in uh, Lagos. said it was a perfect date for sailing I think I said it too early because the the wind died out and now we only have seven knots and uh, with this big sail that we have here we're sailing along at four it's not that bad but it's very very slow uh, in comparison to what we have been doing so far uh, it is very calm so we're relaxing here the day and uh, taking pictures and uh, going with the flow so it's going well and we are getting to a thousand nautical miles sailed on Joy. And we're getting here to Lagos now. And uh, we're gonna be here this uh, next week. Very easy sail today, beautiful. So we're having a good time. And getting to Lagos, you go through a, um, uh, a cape that is called Cape of Piedade and uh, they have like uh, several cliffs it's very very beautiful so since the day is uh, beautiful there's no waves or wind or anything like that we're gonna go very close to the coast so we can have a look at it
and we are here at the marina in Lagos. We decided to stay here a couple of nights and they gave us uh, this lot here, which was kind of tight uh, to get in. Uh, we did get in without any issues, but now uh, in order to get out, we're just waiting uh, to make sure there's no wind or anything like that because uh, so it won't pull us, uh, push us actually uh, over to the other boats. So today we're gonna spend probably another day here in Lagos, visit the town a little bit, and then we're gonna sail to Portimao and get to see as much as we can uh, from this region here in Algarve because it's, uh, it's beautiful. The weather has totally changed. Um, it was pretty cold up there uh, in Porto and Cascais and uh, uh, up in the north. And here in the south, already uh, going towards Gibraltar, it's so much warmer. So now we're feeling uh, the summer vibes here. But that and much more we'll show you next week.